Till then, it did no good to fight. The way things were, we simply wait. Josh muttered, you're on the side of the lake. <laughs> if God there is in Israel, he doesn't do his job too well. Or else he changed his mind a lot on what his chosen people got. Is conquest, toil, poverty? We're chosen for it, seems to me. Well, I tried somewhat to calm him down. There's a lot of that talk around. We could do more, just as you say. But losing the faith is not the way. To solve our problems, can't you see? Josh laughed at my simplicity. <coughs> we argued a while. It did no good. Because Josh's head is made of wood. <laughs> Religion and politics, eternal ease. Most minds are never changed, it seems. And perhaps what old Josh said was true. For centuries, every wandering Jew had prayed with his heart in the darkest night, but feared with his head that Josh was right. Then the conversation moved along to a newborn sheep. Was something wrong. The priests were pity and wouldn't buy. Then Eli said, I ought to cry. But while the money would be nice, we'll all just have to sacrifice. The night ship out of Bethlehem tomorrow eats in perfect plan. John added to his little jest, yes, the cash would be the best. But if not for a perfect lamb, the only meat I eat is ham. <laughs> That's what we call a kosher joke. <laughs> <laughs> it may be lost on you, just how hope. <laughs> well, that's how it was that sorry night. Imaginations taking flight, a care, a complaint, a joke, tears, life's mix of mundane hope and fear. It was John, I believe, the first who spoke. He just uttered his little pygmy joke. Then, isn't it lighter? The dog glanced around. At the as the shadows shrank, then the strangest sound, like holiday songs at Passover times, with accompanying harps, and sounding chimes and voices like nothing you have ever heard. The sweetest tones of a thousand birds. And those angels came and we you know the rest. An announcement made, the whole world was blessed. We ran down to town and banged up my chin. But we found that manger and who lay within. He did what you heard, Josh bowing most low. Yes, he who complained that the child was slow. <laughs> <laughs> and when it was over, each shepherd and wife moved on with their children to start a new life. Now Sam owns half a fishing fleet with a guy named Zebedee. Josh became a merchant in southern Galilee. Eli's got a little farm just west of Jericho. I live in Capernaum. Where John is, I, I don't know. I heard it all later how the soldiers came, raided the village, murdered and maimed. We were lucky, I guess, that we'd all moved away. It just didn't make much sense to stay. Sending poor sheep to their sacrifice for individual sin, petty vice. For particular people, a specific crime, a limited grace, or a limited time. No, tending such sheep 